What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Very happy and excited to be here today. I'm very excited about today's video and the reason why is because I've been waiting to do this video for probably like three years. I finally had a subscriber reach out to me and say, Joe, let me know about the herringbone chain. I'm very interested in it. Now, once the subscriber found out that I actually own a couple of herringbone chains, I told them that I would do a video on it. In case you guys aren't familiar with the herringbone chain, I have one here that you can take a look at. A herringbone chain, it looks like fish bones, right? When you actually look at the link itself, it looks like fish bones. It's a very unique link. Now, my thoughts on herring bones, let's first talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly about herringbone chains. They pull on your hair, they'll like pinch your skin a little bit, depending on how you're moving and stuff like that. And they're also very, very extremely delicate. Now, the good about them is they are gorgeous, and when they sit around your neck, they not only give you a very classic look, but they look like a solid chain. They give the illusion of a solid chain, even though they're not a solid chain by any means. They are a beautiful item to have in your collection in case you don't have them, but they are extremely delicate, so you have to be very careful, especially when traveling with them. It's not a surprise that this subscriber mentioned, Joe, do you know anything about herringbone chains? Because I've personally been seeing ads for herringbone chains lately. So obviously I'm not the only one. A couple of players in the game are talking about herringbone chains. So they might be coming back in style. They, they kind of go around. You, know, you guys know how fashion is, right? Things come in and out of style all the time. Herringbone chains might be coming back in. At the very least, people are advertising for them more now than I've ever seen before. Today we're going to be taking a look at a two and three millimeter herringbone chain. We will look at them at the same length on the neck and then we will compare them side by side on the neck to show you guys a difference between a two and a three millimeter. Now, while I don't have all the millimeters that exist, I do have a couple of more. If you guys are interested in seeing a side-by-side -side comparison of all the sizes that I do own, let me know in the comments and we'll take care of that for you in another video. Again, up close, let's take a look at the herringbone. You just get this camera, there you go. Get this camera to focus in, you'll see the links. The links resemble fishbone, which is why you have it being called this. There's also another chain called a snake chain. A lot of people will confuse a snake chain with a herringbone chain, and while they're very similar, there are some differences. I personally love this herringbone chain. Having this herringbone around my neck feels amazing. And the reason why is because as you guys might know, I've moved to Mexico. I've stopped wearing a lot of my jewelry ever since I've moved here. I will be making a video talking about that in the near future. Take a look at the way the herringbone lays around your neck. It is very nice, very unique. Again, it is very delicate and it will pinch your skin if you're wearing it inside your shirt. It's something that you just have to deal with. It might pull on your hair a little bit. It is what it is, but it's a very, very nice. The way it lays is so smooth. And again, it looks like a solid piece of gold just hanging around your neck, just flawlessly solid, no gaps, nothing like that. Again, very delicate. They break very easily, so please be careful if you are using these. This is a two millimeter herringbone at 20 inches in length. Let's take this 11 feet away, guys, 11 feet away from the camera to show you guys what this will look like on you if you decide to purchase one of these. This is from 11 feet away. I love the feeling of a herringbone when it's not pinching me, just because it feels so fluid. The way the links are absolutely gorgeous. Let me know in the comments, guys, have you ever purchased a herringbone before? Have you ever wore a herringbone before? Very unique style, very classic. I think it takes a certain kind of person to be able to pull a chain like this off, but if you can pull it off, absolutely beautiful. I personally love it. It's one of my favorite styles. Now up close, here's the difference between a two millimeter and three millimeter herringbone. And you're gonna see that difference. If I could get, there you go. You're gonna see that difference, gigantic difference in the way this chain looks. But yes, this is only one millimeter difference. Even the way this chain is hanging on my hands right now, 
it feels like it could be broken by the weight of itself. Do you see the way it's bending? It doesn't bend freely, and that's because of how those links are. So again, when you're using these chains, understand that it's there's a high likelihood of them breaking if you purchase them if you are not extremely careful. Now let's throw on this three millimeter herringbone at 20 inches in length. All right, now I'm really liking this three millimeter width around the neck. I like it a lot better than the two. I feel like it has a lot of presence for a very thin width chain. Very, very beautiful, again, classic. And when it's hanging around your neck, when it's not pinching you, it's gonna feel very fluid. It's gonna feel really, really nice, kind of like a soft, feeling, you know, but when it pinches you, you will know and it will be pinching you. It's going to be annoying. You have to expect this. Again, 11, 11 feet away here on the camera. Check this out. This is a three millimeter. Now let's take a look at both around the neck at the same time. And again, if you guys are interested, and seeing other widths and other lengths of the herringbone, let me know in a comment. I'll be sure to get that to you. All right, guys, another thing that is worthwhile mentioning is that with the herringbone chain, not only do you have to be very, very delicate when you're using it, when you're, you're wearing these, but when you're putting them on, it's gonna be very, very difficult to get this chain to go on properly. The best way that I can recommend is putting it on backwards, so throwing it around your neck and buckling it up over here in the front. And the reason why is because these chains tend to twist, and if you put it on wrong, that chain is not going to lay flat around your neck, it's going to lay twisted. So you have to put this on properly. And it may be annoying trying to get it on properly, especially if you're not used to putting them on. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes just to get this set up like this. Now, I have a 20 inch on here. Oh, this is the, the two millimeter and then the three millimeter, which I have to say again, it is looking very generous as a three millimeter chain. I, I gotta say, looking really, really good. You have the two millimeter, you have the three millimeter. They're staggered at, this is a 20 inch length and this is a 22 inch length, okay? We'll take these back. How beautiful does that look? It looks really, really nice. I'm very happy the way, the way they fall when you finally get them on right. Really a great look for anybody who likes this look. Very, very classic style. You don't really see too many wear, people wearing them often and the reasons why a lot of the time is because they're just way too delicate. You move wrong with this, it gets caught on your shirt, something like that, you're done for. So if you're gonna get them, be very, very careful. Anyway, guys, I hope you all appreciate this video. I hope you found value in it. Let me know in a comment if you'd like to see some more of these videos with this particular style of chain. And I have some great, great content that I promise you guys, you're all gonna love. Trust me, when it comes to sizing, I got some big, big plans. I got real big plans, baby, for you and me. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I hope all's well with all of you, and I look forward to talking to you all at the next video. Take care.